let's look at the next ratio which is days payable outstanding ratio or DPO ratio as other uh, ratios that we looked at this implies after how many days you are paying for the raw material you purchased days after you pay for your purchases so for example if I am buying raw material on 1st January and repaying for that on 15th January then ideally I, I mean then it means that the days payable is 15 days so you pay after 15 days of your purchase as we have been saying an entrepreneur or a business person wants to do business in others money rather than blocking his own money and hence he would want to pay as late as possible so for an efficient business this number the days payable, out, payable outstanding has to be as high as possible this number should be as high as possible like any other ratios like both uh, inventory payable uh, I mean <coughs> days inventory in hand and day sales outstanding this has to be calculated as uh, average payable average payable divided by daily purchases average payable divided by daily purchases so you know average payable and daily purchases will be given by yearly purchase divided by 365 and if you rearrange this formula you will get 365 by payable turnover ratio all right so your days payable outstanding DPO will be given by 365 by payable turnover ratio so let's go ahead and calculate this ratio equal to 365 divided by this ratio 55.9 so now what how to interpret this is last year the company paid for its raw material only after 56 days this year it is paying in 35 days itself so it is paying 20 days faster or 21 days faster which means the company has to bring in the 21 days of cash for investments from somewhere else the company is investing 21 days worth of cash additional cash in the business which is not good because you do not want to invest additional money so while the asset turnover ratios have increased the payable turnover ratio has deteriorated right this has worsened so this is how you have to calculate days payable outstanding ratio and interpret it